Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today we are rather unfortunately not going to be reviewing a manga chapter because Weekly Shonen Jump is on break, but my review senses are a tingling nonetheless. So today we're going to do something weird, something very weird, and review other One Piece reviewers. Now why am I doing this? Well I can't say I have any good reason, other than I thought it might be fun, because I was researching One Piece YouTubers for a video I did on spoilers and thumbnails and titles, and I realized that there are a ton of people out there, an unfathomable amount really, who are giving this YouTube business a real go, and so I want to say that this video is going to be focusing on reviewing specifically small channels because the big guys have enough exposure as it is. And I also thought that since I'm anticipating a lot of face cam stuff that I would get into the spirit of things, and what we are going to do is play the role of a One Piece fan who is keenly searching for a new chapter review. And in this case that's going to be chapter 976, which incidentally there may be spoilers for Act 3 of Wano given that we are actively seeking out chapter reviews, so there is your spoiler warning if you do not wish to proceed. But otherwise I am super keen to see what these up and coming YouTubers have to offer and links to their channels will be in the description below if you're keen on checking them out. So let us begin. Sierra the Goat. Hey what's up you guys Sierra here aka Sierra the Goat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back for the weekly once again thank god One Piece chapter Such 976. Passion. This is a fan oh, translation. No, I don't care. No, I'm not gonna Sierra, wait for the official because no, no, no. I am impatient and I love One Piece. <sighs> Alright you had me until you said fan translation. Look I can't really blame you. I mean, I use scans as my review material for such a huge part of this channel's life, and it does help you get your review out there faster, which is one of the very few competitive advantages that newer channels can easily get, but still. I'll tell you what I do like about this though, which you may not initially or in fact ever pick up on, but the shot is actually framed quite nicely, specifically in regards to the background. So if you're an aspiring YouTuber and you don't have a treasure trove of weeb artifacts, like, I don't know, say this, uh, but if you don't have said weeb artifacts to put in your background, then this is the way to do it. Because whether it's intentional or not, Sierra the Goat is making use of the golden ratio. I love it. So basically one third of the background is the textured blinds and two thirds are the white wall. Not the most interesting background in the world, but that is pretty much the best possible thing you could have done with it. Especially by using the corner of the room because this point here creates depth of image. So Sierra the Goat, I am going to rate your channel as a super solid two golden ratios out of three. Dante D. Gaula. Excellent foreign language YouTubers, and it looks like we've hit a bit of a gold mine of personality with Dante here. Oh my god, your shot changed. It changed again! What is this colored filter madness? Oh, now he's on his side. <laughs> no, 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 no. This guy is too good to be true. Look, I have no idea what Dante is saying, but I love how he's saying it. This guy has some pretty solid personality hiding behind those shades, and the way he just continuously changes up the shot is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's definitely unique. Is that his WhatsApp number in like the top left hand corner? Oh, why would you do that? Oh, that's just inviting trouble. But look, overall, this guy isn't doing too badly at all. He's confident, quirky, that is a recipe for success on YouTube. So we will be giving Dante five troll WhatsApp calls out of five. Eric Price. Oh, hello there. Hey, Eric. My name's Eric. Um, so, if you guys have been uh, long-time followers of this channel, of course. which I highly doubt a lot of you guys are, mm. uh, you guys would know that mostly this channel has been dedicated to uh, my parkour and uh, Wait, 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 like stop, 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 stop the video. Parkour, you say? Man, I would love to do parkour. I'm just so unbelievably lazy. Whoa! But back to the One Piece review, here's a cool thing. Once again, intentionally or not just like Sierra the Goat, Eric has a golden ratio background where roughly two thirds of it are taken up by the Straw Hat Jolly Roger and a further third are the bounty posters on the sides. So even though it's a more or less flat surface, it does still have some visual flair. Or dress Rosa, depends on how you say it. I put way too many roles in the yard, but I like saying it. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's canon now. And you cannot pronounce it without holding a glass of wine, which is awkward because I don't have one. What I would I say is that you have a nice disclaimer there about right, only drinking if you are of age, which, yeah, no, I started watching but it back, if your channel uh, does take off and you feature out, alcohol consumption in your videos, then that can become and, uh, something of a problem for YouTube because it's not uh, necessarily family friendly. Something else I'll say is that the room you're recording in is very much not ideal. The walls look incredibly echoey and there's this very like noticeable hum during the end portion of the video, which I don't know if that's like a fan or air conditioning, but whatever it is, it's there. So basically, if you have the time and or inclination, I would suggest finding a new recording spot, ideally with some sort of carpet flooring and also minimizing the echoes off the wall, and maybe even looking into some post-production techniques to help that, as well as maybe buying a couple of cheap soft boxes to give you some more depth-filled lighting. But otherwise, Eric, you are going to score a perfect seven parkours out of seven. Gob. All right, so cool. Here's our first review channel that, like me, does not make use of face cams. 
but is instead using still images. And Gob is chosen mainly to take clips from the anime, which is it's a solid idea. And it's something that I would do a lot more of if I felt safe doing it. The issue is that using short clips, in theory, it absolutely comes under the banner of fair use, especially for review or critical analysis-based content. However, Japan, to be quite frank, doesn't care. They happen to have their own set of standards and I would be super paranoid about using actual anime clips because they have a much larger chance of being detected by copyright bots. What's worse though, and you probably won't hear this because I'll have edited it out, is that you use music from One Piece, which is great. It creates a nice cohesive effect, but using copyright music is almost certainly a death sentence for a channel. You should avoid it at all costs because you will get flagged at some stage, 100% guaranteed. But something that I think Gob really has going for him is that his audio is probably the best we've heard so far. It's not too echoey, it's not peaking, and it's consistently clear. For all intents and purposes, it is perfectly fine for YouTube. And the other thing I'll say at this point is be very cognizant of your vocabulary. This is something that I am often very, very guilty of using the same word over and over again because I just have it in my mind. But try to identify where that is because otherwise something like the following happens. The monologue he said was mad. The whole way he got introduced was mad. I can say next voice actor is mad to becoming one of the supernovas, a cohort of rookie pirates, although it adds the figure of Blackbeard to their cohort. But another cohort of the worst generation, cohort of giants, cohort of straw hats. So yeah, just try and be aware of when you're using the same words a bit too often. I'm very guilty of that and it annoys me to no end. But otherwise, good stuff, Gob. We'll give you a sturdy three out of three Toei copyright strikes for this one. Giuseppe Vincenzi. How is everybody doing? Good. The people who watch my silly videos, which are just now only One Piece reactions <laughs> because I don't really have time or will to do anything else. Nor do you need time to do anything else, Jusil. One Piece is, of course, the ultimate priority in life, so I'm glad you have yourself sorted out. So there's quite a lot that's being done well here right off the bat. For a face cam video, the shot is actually framed quite nicely. In this really funky bedroom, which has this beautiful like cove of depth at the back, and the architecture of the walls very friendly for the eyes to casually travel across, because you do need to remember, when you're doing some static face cam stuff, that people's eyes are going to want to wander. So if you give them something to look at, then that sustains their engagement. At least that's what almost 10 years of working in theater design has taught me. And something else to take note of is that Juicile is not flatly lit. There is very clearly a dominant light source coming from this direction, but look at the effect it has on her face. It gives it a hint of depth, which once again just makes a person that much more interesting to look at than a flatly lit image. So there's a lot of aesthetic merit here, but I will say that just as with most people, the sound here is very echoey, which tells me that you are probably speaking into a flat wall. And a quick fix to sort of help you out without investing too much money would be to just put a pillow in front of the wall you're speaking into so that the sound gets more absorbed and doesn't bounce violently back at you. But Jusil Vincenzi, we are going to award you with a perfect 10 out of 10 arbitrary Grand Line Review logos. Mage. Welcome back to my age. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. This is One Piece chapter 976. Oh, yes. On a Friday. On a it Friday, is. you We're say? Back, mm, sort of. Okay, that's Not sneaky. Really. I think you guys are reading some scans, <laughs> yeah? You say that. <laughs> All right, okay, it's stop. Up. Here's something we should talk about. So these guys are obviously the first double act we've seen revealing One Piece here today, and having another voice in your content brings a lot of benefits with it. It means that you don't always have to be on and you've got someone to bounce off, it can be great. However, for that to work, one of you always does need to be on because if you both take a step back, then it results in situations like this. Whenever you say that. And just to be clear, I'm not making fun of these guys. It's just that sort of inevitable moment of awkward that is going to happen early on in reviewing careers. In fact, it still happens to me. And the only reason why you're not seeing it is because I edit them out. And I also thought that since I'm anticipating a lot of face cam stuff that I would get into the spirit of things and we are going to play the role However, on the other hand, these guys sound Australian, so it's hard for me to give them anything less than a total score of a perfect five Lamingtons out of five. Vito Knight. All right, cool, another guy not using a face cam. Okay, so good things about V tonight. The audio is clear and crisp. I think it could be much better with a little processing, but whatever, it's a great starting point. Uh, the music in the background is very recognizable. It's a definite like distorted Jono's theme from part five of Jojo. And once again, I will caution you, unless you've rearranged this song for yourself, just don't use it. It's not worth the risk, even though it is a beautiful track. Even when distorted, actually. Here's something I don't like though. One of the biggest problems I think newer reviewers have is that they just retell the chapter. And that's that's fine, there's a lot of people out there who want that sort of thing, but that is a recap, not a review. And Vita Knight does break it up and offer his thoughts on each event, which is nice. It's leagues ahead of many, but the trickiest thing here is that you also go through all the pages and essentially the entire chapter, which I have noticed is the official translation, so good on you for that. But this is incredibly risky, because I think there is a sound legal argument that could be made that this video is just reproducing the manga chapter, 
which is rather unfortunately theft and distribution. I'm not saying don't use manga panels to illustrate your points. I use them in my videos, although I do tend to flip them because I'm super paranoid about unfair copyright claims. But this video takes things to a whole different level. And if this channel does grow and gain traction, then you are probably going to be facing some big problems in the future. So I would recommend that you find a different visual format because your audio is great, your thoughts are also great, but those visuals are probably going to get you in trouble. Oh, and also just please add recap to the title, like One Piece chapter 976 review and recap because that is what you're doing. But otherwise this channel score is a perfect five journals out of five. Sea Stone Sage. Um, I'll start from the oh, start. Oh wow. <laughs> Those of you that know why I'm dressed like this, for the people that don't. <laughs> That's fantastic. But um, yeah, so as expected, Kinemon was really lucky. It was nothing to do <laughs> Wait, with Wait, you can't just launch time. right into the review. Um, it was we have things to talk about here. <laughs> I mean, the review itself almost doesn't really matter. This makeup is, oh my god, it's phenomenal. Deduction. The one thing I will say is that I really wish Jinbei's face was framed slightly higher and inhabiting a better space because my eyes naturally want to rest in the middle of the frame and they keep getting dragged back down to here. I mean, I do get why she's done it though. It's to get that top knot in the frame which to be fair, sells the entire cosplay an incredible amount. So yeah, you know what? Screw my framing desires, whatever. The top nod is worth it. The audio for this is also pretty incredible. Jinbei's voice is loud and clear, but not peaking. It sounds meaty and fleshed out, as opposed to really like hollow and tinny. And once again, there's some nice depth by having the camera pointing at the corner of the room. I kind of wish that was in the center, but once again, whatever. And you know, it's just so fascinating to watch Jinbei speaking in English with an English accent, no less. I, I am completely mesmerized. Absolutely brilliant job here. An easy 10 whale sharks out of 10. Wolf Nara. Welcome back to the <laughs> channel, guys. <laughs> it's your boy, Wolf Nara here. Back to bring you another live reaction for One Piece. And this time, oh, okay. ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely how you start nine, the video. Six. No it's generic AMV, no custom intro, week. no hello and welcome last to the week. Grand Line Review Gino garbage. Gino just cold open, as we let off, and then smash straight into your content. In. With that said, I cannot stress this enough. Do not smoke or drink in your videos. YouTube does not like it, and it will hurt you significantly in getting your content out there. In fact, I'm pretty sure that just including clips of this guy is going to make this video very difficult to monetize, but at the same time, I just have to include him because... Look at Wolfnar. This is an act of raw passion, like no thought for production quality or anything. It's just a guy going, you know what? I want to talk about some One Piece and then doing it. So good on him. So Wolfnara, you are going to achieve a score of 4.2 weed emojis out of five. And look, I don't think that we're going to be able to top Wolfnara now or ever. So let's end this exploration here. Now, what did we learn today? If you are going to be on face cam, then take some time to craft your background. And when in doubt, just adhere to the rule of thirds. It will work every single time. Try not to record in echoey rooms and please do look into some quick guides for post-processing audio. It's very easy and the quality of your content will skyrocket infinitely. And also as funny as I did find it, please do not drink or smoke on camera. Don't use copyright music either and don't reproduce an entire chapter of manga on screen. All of those are big YouTube red flags that will come back to bite you. If you do want to grow your channel, which I'm assuming all of you do except for maybe Wolf Nara because he's just chilling and having a good time. But most importantly, well done everyone. For anyone out there who has never tried to produce a video like these, it is not easy. It is not easy at all. The time that can go into some of the stuff we've seen here today is absolutely insane. And if you think that reviewing a weekly chapter of manga is easy, then I do suggest you give it a go yourself because that is far from the case. So yeah, that was fun, but what do you guys think? If you'd like to see more reviews of reviewers for whatever reason, then please let me know in the comments below or even join my Discord server. And also, please do subscribe to the channel for more One Piece shenaniganry uploaded straight into your YouTube feeds. But for now, this has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.